This is the average gun buyer. Good, right? we're starting off strong. Go ahead and give them a mullet. He has to be holding a can of bush light. A can of beans. Okay. <laughs> yeah, make it a can of beans. Exactly. Make it a can That's of beans. Was... He's got yellow teeth because he doesn't brush. Um, he had a yellow mouth, apparently. <laughs> you know, he's very expressive. Um, he's got some chunky legs. Yeah, dude. He's you know, a fucking the rest of his body. thick titan. He drinks Bush's baked beans every day. You know, <laughs> he drinks, drinks them. <laughs> he drinks straight from the can. <laughs> yes, he's got he's got he's got a gun in one pocket, right? This is a big gun, and in the other pocket, the Bush's baked beans. I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just picturing <laughs> big gun as just <laughs> like big literally pharma. literally no literally just a <laughs> it's just a pistol, but just enlarged. So like. <laughs> The, you, you, you gotta push really hard on the trigger because it's really big. Right. They really did not think of the ergonomics so, of using big gun when they were at the product does, pitch for that one. Does this man always have a can of bush beans and then as well a stay strapped with a comically large can of bush beans? If some person sees... <laughs> If you see any part of this man, you immediately run. <laughs> he's got a finger. He's, he's pointing. That's, this is not what it looks like. This guy can clearly see that he's got a very comically large gun in his pocket. So he's he's not going to try and go after his bush's beans. Wow. Big gun. Holy shit. That is a, <laughs> that is a big gun. When you see it, you're going to totally freak out. Dude, it took me like six <laughs> minutes before I saw this fucking gun, dude. And then once I saw this fucking gun, dude, I was like, that's a big fucking gun. Can I get a new thing of baked beans on here? I want to save it, but I also don't want to see them. Beans. We got, we got beans right here. Now that's a big can of beans. Man, eating that Oreo what? sure makes me want another double stuff Oreo. Now, Bryce, look at the camera. Think what I, what now, I now give a thumbs up. Give a nice, hearty thumbs up. Now pleasure yourself, Bryce. That's what we got. <laughs> <laughs> I look away for five seconds. Let's say you're in a position where this is you, correct? You've got a guy here who you wish to shoot. Now, what do you do in this situation I'm sure we've all been in, where there is another guy in all eight of the cardinal directions around you exactly. Ooh. Ooh. In this position, you can't shoot all of these men with a standard gun. Ah. Ooh, yes. Ooh. We take inspiration from Bloons Tower Defense. <laughs> there are no other directions. Hey, hang on. All eight of them. Hang on, hang on. I've discovered right. a... Th now, this plan is great. However, I have discovered a small wrinkle. Um, what if these uh, hypothetical alleged shooters are in fact made out of lead? Oh. Hypothetically, in this situation, you have overlooked the fact that it is now round 28, and you are now fucked. All right, here's an amendment to the plan. Problem this covers solved. this what covers it? all bit. Whoa, actually, hang on. How is this amateur on round 47, so, dude? He has an upgraded shit. Real talk, though, this fucking assemblage of towers is actual dog shit. Fight like a man. Fight with a sword. Big sword. Big sword instead of big gun. Big sword better than big gun. Big sword. Sword. Big sword. Big sword. Big sword. Guys, this isn't Bryce. Guys, we. I think we just pulled in a homeless man from the street and, and gave him a computer to. Make this. I'm proposing that we take some of the features of the car and bring it into the world of the gun. If a man were to sneak up behind you, you would be unaware of his presence. Now, if there's one thing we can learn from the car, it's the importance of the rear view mirror. <laughs> so I propose we put a rear view mirror right on the front of the gun. Perfect. And, and, then, and then play the Metal Gear sound effect. I'm speaking from the view of the, the shareholder here. This is a great product and all, but I really need to get a, a feel for your track record. So how has the long wheel been performing in markets recently? We're all aware of the classic design of the wheel. Yes. Yes. Here's what I propose. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. 
Make the wheel longer. Our engineers have actually been able to create a long wheel that spans the entirety of the horizontal width of the Earth. It takes one single rotation to be on the other side of the planet. Unfortunately, a couple of houses have been crushed. Yeah, but and I can it's also see I can also see a, a great backlash coming from the airline industry here. If we're able to come up with just a real fantastic improvement on the gun here, the airline industry won't be a problem. Oh, we can just shoot them right out of the sky. Uh, you know what a periscope is, right? Mm -hmm. I suggest we do something like that with the muzzle of the gun. So that not only can he spot the guy behind him, but he can also kill him. So what what you're saying is something like this. <laughs> yes. Yes. As as we know, one of the most important features of the car is the safety features. And airbags are a big part of that. So I'm proposing we install an airbag system. <laughs> quick little snag here from the shareholders um they're noticing a distinct lack in uh three point seat belts here hang on uh if, if we need if we need a seat belt we can just kind of have it come with a chair here <laughs> and then have the seat belt <laughs> on the chair the like so right and you know while we're at it why don't we just include an entire car <laughs> I knew it. around it <laughs> I love the idea that the exclamation point is actually just a part of the car. You know what this is like? This is like the, the taxi sign that lights up when it's available. <laughs> this will automatically light up. It's and, like a beacon. And, and you know what? The, the greatest thing about this idea is you've got the trunk space here where right. you can store more guns. You can store more of this exact <laughs> thing inside of the trunk of the car. Um, and David, really, at this at this point, we can create infinite parallel universes with this idea here. So yeah, we can really go deep <laughs> I'm down seeing the rabbit no hole. No downsides. How would he drive the car? The force from the gun's shot going backwards, like so, could propel the car forward. <laughs> <laughs> so That's imagine, if you will, uh, the streets of New York with just gunfire. Dude, so ah, so nothing uh, different. The, yeah. <laughs> the, the the only downside to this is that you really don't want to be behind a guy who's driving one of these. <laughs> But I Listen. think that, if anything, that'll just cut down on the amount of traffic in New York City. Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on. You can you can carpool in the infinite universes created <laughs> by the trunk here. <laughs> Murders by way of gun will increase, but motor traffic deaths will essentially be nothing, because no one will be driving a car anymore. Exactly. Right. You're just going to have one guy driving this car <laughs> around, and the other people are just going to be in the infinite universes in here. <laughs> they'll just the hop out when it's their race. stop. This guy, in this situation, he'd be dead. But now... He wins. What is the name of this revolutionary product? The musket. M stands for many universes self-contained. Contained. Inside. <laughs> Trunks. <laughs> Trunks. You, you know, I, this is just a standard question. I've got to ask, where are the beans? Oh, don't worry. We've, we've, got, we've got a whole separate trunk just for the beans <laughs> yeah! up here. I think we can call it Kinda there. We've reached a climax. Guys, uh, I think I have an update for you. Oh, okay. Um, oh. Oh. Uh, Ooh. So we, as you see here, I have now updated the graphic. It is much more detailed now. We can now see the amount of lives that have actually been taken <laughs> from the big guns. <laughs> Just to add a little bit more real realism to the artwork, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I then had to clarify, by big, I meant fucking sword big fucking sword the person kind of got lost there so i had to fix that it's like a three billion story tall building that's like just to show you how big the sword is i i put a lot of work into this so thumbs up you know and then also fuck beans